जस्ट परस्यू इट बट माई पर्सनल रिकमेंडेशन इज फर्स्ट गेट योर बेसिक्स वेरी मच क्लियर सो दीज आर दी बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स बिकॉज विदाउट दी स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस यू कैन बिल्ड अ बिल्डिंग आउट ऑफ इट एंड वर्किंग एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर विथ प्रोविडेंस Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys So today I'm going to talk to Harsh and we're going to try to understand how his interview went for the company Providence We're going to understand how his interview experience was how many rounds were there and then we'll try briefing out every round as well so we understand how many questions were asked what was the duration what was the difficulty level of the questions so finally let's dive in hi harsh how are you doing hi kabir all good how about you man i'm good i'm good harsh can you quickly brief out a small introduction about yourself and then we can dive into the interview experience sure 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 so i come from jaipur rajasthan Mm-hmm. I've completed BTech from BIT Bello, so I'm a okay. 2021 grad and uh-huh. uh, working as a software engineer with Providence. So Providence is a US-based healthcare firm, the biggest healthcare chains in US, and uh, got Correct. recruited as a part of campus hiring. Okay, that's great. So finally, let's talk about the interview experience for which we are here right now. Can you tell me how many rounds were there in the Providence interview experience? Basically, we had in total four rounds. at our time mm-hmm. out of which first was the online coding questions test the second was a technical interview third was again a technical plus managerial interview uh-huh. and the fourth was the hr round that's great okay so now our short we going to do is we will try briefing out every round the similar way mm-hmm. you wrote an article for us also guys i like to mention mm-hmm. that uh, we have an article written by harsh and he has written it for coding ninjas wherein he has mentioned each and every problem and a very detailed explanation of the interview experience so i'll put the link in the description below and you can have a look at his article as well so let's dive in so what was there in the first round harsh so first round the basic intention was to just Just to test the basic technical knowledge and the logical capability of the candidates. Mm-hmm. So, for what I remember is, ten uh, questions were of MCQ based, some cloud related concepts and stuff. The other two we had coding questions, which is out of one was DP and uh, the other one is of some DS problem. I don't remember it exactly. The other one is SQL problem, uh, okay. which is a normal SQL query. Mm-hmm. So they have given a problem statement right. according to which we had to give the solution. Okay. That's great. And when mm-hmm. I talk about the difficulty level of this round, how much mm-hmm. would you rate it? Easy, medium, or hard? For the ten MCQs, if somebody has a basic knowledge about the cloud, about the Azure ecosystem, I think they can answer it very well. Mm-hmm. For the coding rounds, I feel the first question was easy to medium difficulty, and the second question was medium to hard difficulty level. Okay. And SQL was uh, not that difficult. If you have your basics of database and SQL very clear, you can easily crack it. Okay, and when you talk about the duration again, what was the duration? Duration was uh, one hour thirty minutes. One hour thirty minutes. So now, since we've you know summed up the difficulty question wise, when you talk about so many questions, ten mm-hmm. MCQs, then two questions for coding, and then another mm-hmm. SQL section. How was mm-hmm. it easy mm-hmm. to solve these many questions in that one thir- one hour thirty minutes, or was it a little yeah. difficult? Yeah, it was very easy. The exam was designed in a very seasoned manner. I think okay. that company has a very good thought process behind designing these exams. So. So it was pretty easy Correct. solvable okay moving forward to the second round what actually happened over there where you had the technical uh, mm-hmm. interview so at providence i believe that uh, the company is culturally very rich right so we started off the interview with a very very good introduction and as mm-hmm. it was a covid times we had a brief discussion about our families and the tough times and then mm-hmm. we moved on to the technical discussions we discussed about uh, database we discussed about uh, normal uh, ds and stacks queues and stuff like that and the one part i liked about my interview was that it was not a theoretical interview it was Correct. all uh, application based practical interview okay. so they were also not expecting some kind of definitions from me but rather i would have to explain the concepts with the help of examples or real time scenarios right okay that's great and what would you rate the difficulty of this interview then out of 10 i would rate it around 8 okay. so they try to cover a huge variety of concepts in this interview uh-huh. yeah okay and mm-hmm. moving forward to the third round where in again had another technical round what happened in yeah. that so basically in this round we had a discussion on my projects which i have done in my btech and apart from that it was more of a you know product understanding out than how can you design a product 
out of a problem so mm-hmm. as i said that the overall development is very important at providence that's the values and uh, they follow this very rigorously in their interview in their hiring process and stuff so that is the reason because in the first round of interview they have tested my technical skills so in the second round it was more of a managerial kind or a product and uh, problem and solutioning that how can you think of a solution out of a problem mm-hmm. so that is how it was all about that's really nice and now finally jumping on the final round what happened in that yeah so hr round was all about the cultural values of the providence and how the work culture will be how the stuff is there and mm-hmm. about my extracurricular activities we had a good discussion over there uh, so i had done a very good uh, extracurricular activities in my college time so had a great discussion in that round that's great yeah. that's great and as a whole mm. when you talk about the interview experience since it was on campus mm. how would you rate the difficulty mm. like easy medium or hard was it very smooth for you was it a medium kind of a mm. difficulty or was it hard to solve out like the entire so, experience uh, including all the four rounds yeah yeah so it was my first company which i cracked in so i would not uh, say that it was very difficult but yeah i prepared very well that's what i am very sure about because many of my friends didn't make to providence but yeah i think the preparation was also good plus uh, it went all good for me so yeah that's great that's great finally concluding the interview experience with the last question harsh is that what would you recommend the juniors and the people watching this video to do to get a good placement so basically one major question which i hear out from all the juniors and people passing from the recent batches is that what should we focus on is it development or the dsl go so my simple advice to you guys is okay if you are good at development if you are very passionate about developing something in react react native flutter anything anything it can be any technology no matter just pursue it but my re- personal recommendation is first get your basics very much clear and what i mean from basics is your computer science fundamentals should be very clear you should be crisp right. in that and plus mm-hmm. the basics of coding like dsl go oops so these are the building blocks because without right. the strong base you can't build a building out of it so that's, that's the only recommendation i would like to give that's yeah. great that's great and i really thank you harsh for helping us out with this interview experience yeah. it means a lot and again guys if you want to read it out you can uh, check the link in the description below harsh has given a very very great article for us so i really thank him for that as well and guys if you like the video you can hit the like button and also subscribe to coding ninjas i'm going to see you in the next one happy coding guys